about the reactions of oxide and usually you know this is actually a molecule itself but usually you'll see on a carbon chain you'll see this corner uh kind of uh, group here and that just signifies that it's an epoxide now there's two things i want you to keep in mind in acidic conditions uh your nucleophile attacks the most substituted carbon all right in basic conditions uh, your nucleophile attacks least or the less substituted carbon so that being said let's look at some examples so what if i'm given this molecule here right and i decided to add it in acid and ch3 oh or methanol what would be the product well again the first step is that my oxygen with these two lone pairs are going to get protonation all right oxygen three bonds automatic plus one formal charge now in the second step my nucleophile is able to attack and we said oxygen is a good nucleophile again now remember we're in acidic conditions so therefore my nucleophile is going to attack the more substituted carbon all right so out of this and this this had two hydrogen this has one so this is my more substituted carbon so once it attacks the substituted carbon the bond breaks and go on the oxygen and now we have something that looks like this now in the second carbon here we have uh going up we have an oxygen that's bonded to a hydrogen and a seat and a, and a methyl group All right and then we continue the carbon chain well i go one down here All right and then we have this methyl group well not this methyl group but the but the alcohol that has been created now remember when we did acid we form water all right so in the second step we form water once here and maybe we should write this as h3o plus but we did form water all right and so water is going to come in act as a base and then we get our neutral product an ether here and we still have an alcohol all right, so that will be a neutral product now let's look at uh you know epoxides in basic conditions all right so what if i react this with methyl magnesium bromide and ether what will be a product? Well, remember I only had water too. Well, remember, green yard chemistry, we're in basic conditions. So ions, uh, you know, ionic bond metals get plus one uh, formal charges, and then our non-metals usually take the minus. All right. So this is what the actual bond in terms of charges look like. All right, so you can see that we're in basic conditions. So we're not going to attack the more substituted carbon. We're going to attack the less substituted carbon and break that bond between the carbon and the oxygen. And now we have something that looks like this. We have a CH3 there, and we have an oxygen that's negatively charged. Now, in the, in the, in the second step, water comes in. Which, uh, two long pairs on the oxygen. Water comes in and acts as a base. Well, it serves as a serves as. Let me repeat that. It serves as, an, as an, um, some sort of hydrogen source. So this is very nucleophilic. So basic actually. So it's going to come and take one of those hydrogens off and get that bond on the oxygen. And now we get our neutral product. Right, we get an alcohol, secondary alcohol. All right. So this is the basic idea between basic conditions and acidic conditions. So that's something you should keep in mind. So let's see, what if we take this epoxide here? What if we take this epoxide here? I know this kind of is drawn ugly, but what if we take this epoxide here and we add hydroiodic acid, what will happen? Well, again, my oxygen needs protonation. So it's going to come protonate and then break that bond between the iodide. 
and now we have an epoxide Oxide, oxygen three bonds, automatic plus one formal charge. Now it gives my nucleophile space to attack. Now remember, we we are in acidic conditions, so my nucleophile is going to attack this carbon or this carbon. What's it going to attack this carbon? Right, more substituted. All right, so going to attack the more substituted carbon and kick those uh, bonds off which turns into electrons on the oxygen, right? So here's your neutral product. We have this carbon that still has my methyl group, but now it has an iodide group. And then we break this bond here. So therefore my, oh man, I just keep on slipping. So therefore my alcohol has to be on this last page here. Mm -hmm. so let's look at a few more examples. So what if I take this molecule here yeah and then react it with methyl magnesium bromide and, uh, and then acid in the second step well don't get confused here the reason why we add acid in the, in the second step is to get our alcohol so don't think that okay this is green your chemistry I see an H3 or plus so I'm gonna get um, you know the, the, the acidic condition um, product. No, that's incorrect. All right, so again, my carbon is nucleophilic. This is uh, positive, All right? So again, we're in basic conditions here, all right? So my nucleophile will attack the less substituted carbon and break that bond between the oxygen. And here's what we form. Negatively charged. And this yes so this is what we form now again acid comes in the second step as some sort of proton source and we form a neutral product which is an alcohol all right so so nothing 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 difficult um, and this is just a general reactions of oxide. In acidic conditions, you get your, you get protonation and you get your nucleophile to, to attack the the more substituted carbon. Uh, in basic conditions, you get uh, your nucleophile to attack the less substituted carbon.